top up. That thunder and lightning scares me. Does it always storm this hard up here? This is a mild one, Laura. But you can stop worrying. We'll be leaving on our trip in a few days. I can hardly wait. I always had a terrific yen to see Africa. What's it really like? I mean, hunting and capturing animals. This is no time to discuss Africa. You get out and help me with this time. Well, now, um, what do I do, great white hunter? And snap that cover. And quicker, we'll get soaked. You know, this is hardly the honeymoon I dreamed of. Like I say, Marion, lead them out in the middle of nowhere, take their shoes away, and you've got a wife that'll do very nicely. So you think you'll keep me? You try and get away. That marriage license cost me six bucks. You know, I can buy six wives for that in the middle of Africa. Well, I hope you still feel that way when we get in the jungle. Shall I prove it? Now, what do you think? I love you. I think we'd better get home. I think so, too. Beautiful out here. Beautiful, but dangerous. We killed a panther up here last year. Killed a horse before we got him. Oh, animals don't frighten me. I had a pet monkey when I was a little girl. He loved me, but hated everybody else. That sounds like Spanky, a gorilla I brought back. Gorilla? I captured him as a baby. He was all right till he grew up. I have to keep him caged now. He goes to the zoo next week. We better head for home. These roads are a mess when it rains. Wouldn't be very pleasant to be bogged down out of here, especially on a wedding night. night. <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Do you think we'll find room for our ten children? They're cheaper by the dozen. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a menagerie. Oh, it's chilly in here. This will warm you up. Come and get it. I'd rather have coffee. Where's your house, boy? Paro, I told him to feed Spanky and take the night off. I thought we'd want to be alone. Spanky sounds like he's mad about something. He's in the house? He's in the cellar. Well, isn't that dangerous? Oh, he's caged. I'd like to see him. No. Well, why not? <laughs> why not? I've heard him referred to as being beautiful. Can we go a little closer? Sure. Fascinating. Don't get 
get too close, he's dangerous. <laughs> Maybe some food will quiet him down. Spanky! to him again. He could have killed you. Spanky. I always wanted to carry my bride across the threshold. <laughs> <laughs>
cold, huh? I still shudder at the strange sensation I had when, when the gorilla was trying to, to be tender. It's strange, very strange. I don't understand it. It's all over now. By the looks of it, so is the storm. Good night, darling. Dan, I'd like to talk about it. You mind if I go into town tomorrow morning and get Carl Reiner? I don't need a doctor. Well, Carl's more than a doctor. He's a friend. Spanky didn't hurt me. It was almost as if his movements were meant to be kind, gentle. Except when he tore my nightgown. I couldn't take the chance of him harming you. I had to kill him. Such a weird incident. Dan? Yes, dear. Dan, have you ever had the feeling that you've been someplace before or that you've done something when you actually knew you hadn't? I guess we all have it one time or the other. Why? The way I felt with the gorilla. Almost as if it had happened before, a long time ago. You have quite an imagination. If it is imagination. Let's drop it for now, huh? Get some rest. Fine wedding night I've given you. Forget about it, dear. I'm going to be married a long time. Perhaps even in another kind of life we had lived before. I've lived before. I know I have. I know I've been here before. And I've seen this before. A long, long time ago I can remember this. Why do I see strange things? Why do I see animals? 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 There must be a reason. 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 Why? Why do I remember these things? Now I know. Now I know. I'm a part of all this. A part of this whole scheme of things. After the vultures came, I ran and ran and ran. I'm frightened. I'm thirsty. Very thirsty. But I'm frightened. Wake up. It's all right. It was just a bad dream. But it was so real, Dad. If it was the gorilla, he's dead, dear. He'll never frighten you again. It happens all the time. I, I see them, hundreds of them, animals all over. But we all dream about animals. I'm always being chased by a lion. A I know, but this is different, Dad. It's so real. I see them. I know I do. Sometimes when they've gone and I wake up screaming, I think I'll go out of my mind if I ever have to go to sleep again. Try not to think about it. I'll get your light sedative. Here, take these. I don't want to. Go ahead. You'll sleep through till morning. I'll get up early and I'll drive to town and get Dr. Reiner. You'll know how to take care of this dream of yours. Come on, let's get some rest. Dan? Yes? I'm sorry to be so much trouble. After that spanky affair, you're entitled to one bad dream. Dan? Dan? 
Yes. Do you think we can come back after death? That's a strange question. I know. But do you, I mean, do you think that perhaps we've lived before? Maybe somewhere else or somebody else. Maybe even something else. That life really never stops for anyone. That it just sort of goes on and on and on. One existence after another. I never thought about it before. Mrs. Fuller. Good morning. You must be Taro. Yes, ma'am. I make coffee. Thank you. Were you here when Mr. Fuller left this morning? Yes, I returned from town 6.30. The Buana, he just leaving then. Well, do you know if he'll be back soon? It is only an hour into town. You look good for all the trouble we have last night. Well, then my looks are very deceiving. You will be going into jungle with Buan and me? Yes. You and Buana will be very happy. He has made good choice for wife. Excuse me, Mrs. Fuller. Reiner. Yes, of course. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning, Cairo. May I take your hat, Doctor? Thank you. Is Mrs. Fuller awake? In the study, Buana. You know, Carl, I don't agree with you on all of your theories. And besides, I don't think this is too serious anyway. Oh, don't worry about it, Dan. We'll see. Hello, Lara. So nice to see you again. Hello, Carl. You look wonderful. Dan, this wife of yours gets more lovely by the hour. Oh, you're just trying to get the patient on your side. Must I? Well, you're the doctor. And a very good friend of the family, I hope. Maybe I'll find something to do outside. Tara and I haven't worked to Target in weeks. I'd rather you'd stay, Dan. Would you like some coffee, Carl? Not just now, thank you. Dan? No, dear. Sit down, Laura. Have you ever been hypnotized? Oh, just once at a party. It was all a big joke, though. So. Good. Then you know something about it. Just a little bit. The mind's a strange instrument. In many areas, the mind has never been explored. And in most cases, where there has been exploration, the findings are far from complete. Now, in hypnotism, we have found things which lead us to believe that our minds have outlived many lifespans. I think we might find through hypnosis what your dreams come from and what they mean. Are you willing to participate in such an experiment? I'll do anything if there's a chance to get rid of that dream. There's a possibility we'll find the reason. If we do, we'll know the way to handle it. Yesterday morning, Dan and I were married. Last night, that gorilla business, then the dream again. Dan must think he's married to an idiot of some kind. Oh, I'm sure Dan's more intelligent. But don't worry. We'll try and find out what's bothering you and get rid of it. Just make yourself comfortable. Now close your eyes, Laura. Well, where do we go from here? That's what you're going to tell me. Now keep your eyes closed. Do not open them until I tell you to do so. Do you feel my thumb on your forehead? Yes. Do you still feel it? Yes. Good. Now you will go into a deep sleep. Sleep. That's it. Sleep. Deep asleep. You are now under my complete control. You will not awaken until I tell you to awaken. You will answer all my questions truthfully. You will remain deep asleep. And 
under my control. Is she asleep? No need to whisper, Dan. Your voice won't disturb her. As to her being asleep, step in your arm. Stephanie? That's it. Now, don't move it. You want to reach for your coffee, but you find you can't. Open your eyes and try to reach for your coffee. Relax your arm. You can move it again. Take your coffee. Now close your eyes. Close your eyes. Go into a deep sleep. Deep. What is your name? Laura Harrison. Is that all? Laura Harrison Fuller. Married yesterday to Dan Fuller. Angora. The sweater was such, such. Beautiful thing. Soft like kitten's fur. It felt so good on me. As if it as if it belonged there. It felt so bad when when it was gone. Go into a deeper sleep. Deep, deep, deep. When'd you get the new tiger up? India, last trip. Wanted to bring him in alive, but the natives had a taboo. He had to be destroyed. Got him with a 370 Weatherby magnet. Fascinating business. Dan, I'd like to try regression on Laura. Regression? I don't know about all this hypnosis business. No. Regression simply means I'll attempt to send her back into time, to a previous existence, if she has had a previous existence. I believe Laura has lived before. <laughs> now, come on, Carl. Well, her talk of marabou, angora, and fur-like materials, there's definitely a connection between them and her dreams. I believe it is derived from that past existence. Do I have your permission to find out? All right. Good. You are now going back. Back into time. Back before your entry into this life as you now know it. You will speak of that life as you see it. It's dark. Very dark. So cold. Go on to your journey, back to the next light of day that you remember. You are no longer of this life. You will see only through the eyes of the life that you have now reached. You will tell me what you are now seeing. Back, back to the endless reaches of time. Where are you now? I'm, I'm in a jungle. I see brush, trees, vines. I see animals. What kind of animals? All kinds. There are, there are many zebras by the water. Elephants moving. A snake is crawling into the underbrush. Leopards moving in the jungle. Lions. So very many lions. The giraffes seem frightened. They're running away, running from something. Why are they frightened? All the animals are frightened now. Why are the animals frightened? They're frightened of, of, of me. Why are they frightened of you? I don't know. All the animals run when I'm near. Are you hurting the animals? 
I have hurt them, but I'm not hurting them now. What are you doing now? I'm walking through jungle. The trees and vines don't seem to bother me. I push right through them. You are very strong? Very strong. Becoming afraid. Of what? Someone is after me. I'm frightened of the water. Who is after you? I don't know. You are near water? Yes, water. Why are you frightened of the water? I'm making noises I, I don't understand. What kind of noises? Growl. Why do you growl? I don't like him. Why don't you like him? He can hurt me. Who can hurt you? He can. His horns are sharp. I don't like him. That water buffalo. He's going now. Are you moving again? Yes. I'm walking through the jungle again. The cool wind brushes my... my fur. What kind of fur is the wind brushing? There. There is the water. I don't... I don't want to go to the water. I'm so frightened of the water. I see my reflection. I'm... I'm a gorilla. <laughs> Savages have, have shot me and... It, it hurts. It hurts. For heaven's sakes, Carl, bring her out of this. Easy. Easy. coming back, back through time to the present. You will eventually remember all that you have told me, but no longer will it trouble you or your dreams. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. When I count three, two, one, and snap my fingers, you will awaken as Lara Carson Fuller. You will feel rested, but you'll want a cigarette. Let her rest a moment. She'll be all right? Of course. Dan, do you realize we just witnessed a portion of your wife's previous existence and her death in that existence? Now, come on, you don't believe she was a gorilla. All the evidence points to it. Her fixation for fur-like materials comes from that fact. I have a feeling that gorilla last night wouldn't have hurt her. Well, I'm sorry, Carl. I just don't buy all this. Well, you have a right to your own opinion. However, if I were you, I wouldn't take her into the jungle so soon. We've made plans. It's our honeymoon and we're going. It's up to you, Dan. You are now going to awaken, Laura. Three, two, one. How was I? Marvelous. You feel all right? I feel wonderful, except I'd like a cigarette. Honey, we'll be in Africa. Oh, I can hardly wait to set my feet on solid ground again. <laughs> well, it won't be solid for a while yet. You mean more flying? No, we'll be heading down river by cattle boat. Cattle boat? <laughs> Only for a little while. Uh, this hasn't been so bad, has it? No, it's been fun. Look over there. Oh, they're kissing right here in front of everybody. We'll be talking soon, Buana. I go get luggage ready. 
Fine, Tara. Captain Cameron first, Warner. Right, and straight to the hunting site. Well, gee, how about time to catch my breath? Oh, you can do that on the way. Described you to me, I did not think that anyone could be quite as beautiful. But now that I see you here, I know I was wrong. You are twice as beautiful. Well, thank you very much. He said some very nice things about you, too. Ours is a mutual admiration society, eh, Dan? Seriously speaking, though, my dear, there is no white hunter out here who does his job quite as well as Dan over there. Didn't I tell you there's nobody like him? Everyone has this, too, Dan. <laughs> well, not the business, eh? What's it to be this time, Dan? Capturing or killing? Oh, a little livestock. We're going for a little shooting, though. Hmm. I suppose you have your papers with you. Yeah. Let's see them, huh? Yeah. Let's see now. Hunting, visa, regulation guarantee, government release. Yes, they are all here. Well, <laughs> good hunting, old boy. <laughs> Thank you. And take care of the little lady, huh? <laughs> Goodbye, my dear. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Captain. Bye. being introduced to the brush countries. Why the drums? Drums are the jungle telegraph. They can carry a message miles in a matter of seconds. Sometimes they sound like angels in heaven. Sometimes like hell. Fast, another second, you would have had it. What is it, a tarantula? A tarantula's bite can be just as deadly as a lion's fang or an elephant's foot. I'm afraid some of the jungle romance is leaving me. You golden night air. Thank you, Martha. Oh, it's beautiful. My village people weave. This is very sweet of you. Thank you, Martha. Very still, it won't hurt you.
with more doors alive. See how we catch animals on the run. Well, come on, let's get dressed. Right, we'll walk down and see if the boys have the bridge finished so we can move on. get a scent, they might charge. It's okay now. How'd you beat us here? The cheetah walked into a trap, Juana. It was over quickly. Then I take jungle paths. Good boy, Tara. The bridge looks pretty good. Check the trucks and equipment, and we'll be moving on. Yes, Juana. There they are. Ready for a ride? It'll be a rough one. Yeah, let's go. He's a fast one, but we'll be just a little faster. in your blood, doesn't it? Just one week here, and I feel as... I feel as though I've always belonged here. It can get you. You ever get tired of it? Oh, once in a while. But don't forget, this is hard work for me. I think Cameron was right. You do it all so easily. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
see he agrees. You seem to have a way with the birds, too. Well, we speak the same language. Isn't that right, my friend? Oh, you see? <laughs> yes, I see. <clears throat> Wanna a messenger from Captain Cameron. What is it? Captain Cameron sends his respects, sir. He requests your presence at his quarters on a matter of great importance. Very well. I don't know what it's all about, but I won't be too long. Tower, you look after Mrs. Fuller. Just one. Come in. Oh, it's you, Dan. I'm glad you could come so quickly, huh? What's all this about Indian tigers here in Africa? Oh, an animal ship was wrecked off the coast. Two tigers escaped into the jungle. And as far as we know, they are still at large. Hey, have you seen this? Seen. Two days ago. Right here. That's gorilla country. I'm aware of that. You know, it might save us some trouble if our tigers latched on to one of those big boys, huh? The gorilla with all his strength is no match for the tiger. The tiger's fast. He's in, ripped his damage, and gone before anyone knows what's happened. So some of my men have told me. That's why I sent for you. You know about hunting tigers. We don't. Besides, you know that area. Once a tiger has tasted human blood, so they tell me, he's not about to change his diet. Arrow. We'll rest here. Yes, Juana. Tired? I'm exhausted. Ooh, heat. There, some water. <gasps> Tonight we'll be in gorilla country. Is that where we'll camp? Yes. It's a beautiful spot, but it's dangerous. Harold, give them 10 minutes and get them back in line.
Very good marker. Cold out tonight, isn't it? Well, we'll just have to give you some work and warm you up. What is it? Tigers. Well, I didn't expect to catch up with them so soon. They're very close, Guana. You stay here, honey. We'll be back in a little bit. Dan, please be careful, will you? Don't you worry. Come on, Tara. You boys look after the camp. We'll be back soon. Do not worry. The Guana is the best hunter of all. He will return safely. There's always tomorrow, Guana. Yeah. I will teach you how to weave tomorrow. Good night, Mrs. Fuller. Good night, Martha. You can try and get some rest, Tara. Just one. No luck, darling? Nope. Where are you going, Marker? I go to get more wood. Do not wander too far into the jungle. The tigers are near. I'll be careful. She's going into the jungle. Follow me and come with me ten paces to the rear.
leaving. But she's in a bad way. The tiger is wounded and even more dangerous now, Buona. I know. Let's get her back to camp. How is she? Mark is dead. Are you going after the target? Juana, Juana! Juana, we have one of them in the trap. Come on. This isn't the one I shot. Let's leave her in the pit tonight. Maybe her mate will come looking for her. Let's take our position. Now it goes late, Buona. That cat will come, I'm sure. that tiger yet. You go on back to camp and get some rest. But you, Buona? I'm going to stay out here for a little while. What I have in mind is a one man's job. Yes, Buona. Pick up your rifle. Yes, Buona.
mighty nasty crack on the head. It was bad for Buona. I can go for doctor. Without a car, it'd take a couple of days. Without pack, I can take short path through River Mountain. Doctor and I could return by Jeep. Yes, you might be able to make it. Go ahead, Tara, try it. She sleeps long now, Buona. It is best you take time to treat your own wounds.
seen it from that day to this. It's weird. Basically, we're all animals. So a reversion just can't be ignored. Perhaps the injury when she fell at the time of the tiger attack had something to do with it. I can't believe she's gone. Dan, the night we hypnotized her, she displayed some very unusual animal tendencies. And that she had been a gorilla in a past life seems rather positive. I believe she's gone, Dad. Gone back where she came from. Mm -hmm. 